I'm Dr. Amy Taub. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the kinds of treatments that we have for different types of scars. As little as 15 years ago, we had almost nothing to really repair scars. Now with these new options, it's so great we can try to really remake the skin so that it looks fresh and new from before these scars were created. And a lot of times we combine these options because scars, even within one scar, one area may be a little bit lumpy or raised, another area may be depressed and be white, and so we have to choose different options for that same scar to be able to make it smooth and look at more even. So you can do it with laser, and you can do it with radio frequency. This is called sublative resurfacing or e-matrix. Why the difference? They make slightly different types of wounds. This was the first type of resurfacing around for acne scarring, and it was really what we call our gold standard, and it was really wonderful. But then this came along, and basically what it does is it does most of the similar things that this does with a little bit less downtime and a little bit less side effects. Sometimes we opt for this kind of resurfacing, which is carbon dioxide laser resurfacing, sometimes known as CORE. That's this particular brand that we use. The CORE actually ablates the scar. We heat up the scar. We heat it to such a high temperature that we actually blow off some of the skin into smoke or steam. Because of that, we actually remove the tissue much faster. So we're going to talk about some options that we have for scarring that aren't resurfacing. The main ones are microneedling. And basically you take tiny little needles and you go over the skin multiple times. And by wounding the skin we know that we stimulate new growth in the skin. And then we also have something called Bellafil, which is a filler specifically approved by the Federal Drug Administration for acne scarring where we break up the scar tissue so it's not bound down like it's stuck underneath. We want to release that and then we can put the filler under so instead of having a bow like this, it kind of gradually raises up. The best thing is to come in for a consultation so we can see what your scar or scars look like and then we can put together a plan to figure out how best to minimize your scars for the future. Thanks a lot.